Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to use automation in Cubase. I've got this short piano section written out. It's got no effects on at the minute. I'll just play it through. And basically what I'm going to do is just add reverb to this and control it using the automation. So if I open up the mixer and I'm just going to add just a basic reverb effect I'll set the reverb time to quite high for this demonstration and I'll put the mix down to zero now to open up the automation for this track you need to click this arrow here and then you can see it says volume this if I was to control this automation here by drawing on the line like that it would control the volume in the mixer so if I if I just show you that it's playing and if I open up the mixer you can see the volumes being controlled by that automation that's basically all automation is it's controlling things um, automatically alright if I delete that Right, if I now click this volume, I can now see these inserts. If I click more, it opens up this window. And in this inserts subfolder here, you can see the reverb effect that we've just put on. If I go to mix, that will now set this automation track to the reverb mix control. So that is specifically, if I open up, the, it's specifically this little dial here. So that's what we're going to be controlling with this automation. So at the moment it's set to zero. Um, you need to make sure that this read automation is selected. So if I click that. And then if I just draw a line from 0 up to say 98 or 100 whatever. And now that will control that reverb mix. So if I press play. I'll open up that you can see that the reverb mix is being controlled automatically you can do this for loads of different things you can do it for um, any effect any little dial within an effect um, if you right click on some of these dials you can get some information about the automation like such as MIDI CC numbers and things like that for your keyboard to control it with you know like um, like one of the little knobs on your keyboard and that's pretty much all automation is it's quite a handy little thing to use if this video has helped in any way then please click like and subscribe for more videos thanks for watching